so I'm on my way to the spawn to see Splinter's ship. Um, he's come on here just today. Met him on the StarMade forums. And uh, we're just going to check out his, his ship here. So I guess, what's this say? Rigel. It says Rigel on it. Let's go on a little, little closer look. I like how he's done the writing though. I should do the writing like that on my salvager ship. So if anything, this has given me that idea. Nice one, mate. Okay, so now we're going to do our ballistics test for the Rigel frigate. So hopefully he's going to give me just one click. Aim for the core and give me one click, please, mate. Okay, so what's that? Six, seven, eight block penetration. One, two. Oh, it's quite, it's not bad actually. That's quite a deep penetration just off one a hit. Just gonna look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, maybe 10. So we're going to go for the one second pulse. Let's do it. That wasn't one second. It was less than the last one. Oh well, maybe. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Sustained fire till you hit the core. I hope he can read that because I can't even see what I'm typing. <laughs> So he got good penetration at first and now he's working his way through. Problem is, I think the angle is actually defeating him here. If he had it dead straight, the angle wouldn't be getting wider. And as you can see, it's making a funnel and it's getting wider. This end's getting wider as it gets deeper. Which is fine, it's just it means it'll take him a little bit longer. Here it comes. A few more good hits. Oh, he's hitting, not he's off target now, and it's having to cut all the way through again. Aim down a bit, bro. <laughs> but this is exactly what, you know, this is the difference between different patterns. This is what happens. Come on, mate, you can do it. I think he might have run out of power there briefly. Don't know, he might have just stopped because he thought, is this thing ever going to die? And boom, he's through, but he's not quite hitting the core. <laughs> oh, dear. So that's the blast pattern that he got from his sustained fire. It's much, much wider, and that's due to the fact that the layout, he's got them two spread apart there. Oh, and there go the missiles. Boom, nice chunky. Oh god, that one nearly went for me. Right, okay. So yeah, that's the uh, that's his blast pattern. Quite a narrow funnel. And again, quite flat as well. If you look at it, it's, it's quite flat. It's much flatter than it is wide. And that's again because of the pattern that he's got inside his ship. If you take a look, they're spaced apart. But they're positioned level with each other. Which is why you get this shape. Which is nice. Has he got through? <laughs> I think that annoyed him. <laughs> he killed it. <sighs> That's funny. Yeah, so he got it in the end. But yeah, the reason it's so long is so that the sustained fire test isn't easy for medium-sized ships. Let's have a look in here. That would be his core. Nice little docking bay, I like it. see I think he had another ship he wanted to show me so uh, we'll leave that there 
Okay, so Splinter's got another ship to show me, the, the Alfeca. And uh, this one, he said he's not known for making interiors, so that's fair enough. But it uh, looks like we've got a lot of AMC in here, quite a few more weapons. So it looks like he's got his weapons computer and his uh, ship core in there. So the tower's up on top. And uh, yeah, so... Here he goes, shooting away. So let's see how this one does against the ballistic gel. Okay, so this is the Alfaka ballistics gel test. Uh, we're going to do the same as always, so it'll be one click, then a one second pulse, and then full sustained. Okay, here we go. One click. So it should then get one, one second. It should be more if he holds it for longer. Nice, nice, okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And again. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what full sus this is the hard it's hard to judge these sorts of ships because you never know what because it doesn't always perform the same with volley as with full auto. So here we go. Full auto. Pretty much a straight line. It's a much tighter pattern than the last one he had. Much tighter. So there it goes. Let's see how long it takes him to get through. Oh, it's gone slightly off. He's got halfway through. There we go. Oh no, see that's it, he did the second third, well, yeah, he did the second third of that much quicker than the first. But is he gonna miss it? Come on mate, you can make it through there. Can. I think he's aiming a bit low. Sometimes I wish I could tell him. Oh, wait, I know, I think he might have. Did he get it? There it goes. Come on, man. You can do it. It's just a little bit too low. <laughs> so he's through anyway, but not quite on target. So, we got the core. <laughs> can be very tricky to get the core, but there you go. So, uh, that's Splinter's ship. I like those ships. They were pretty cool, like I say. I like the characteristic style everybody has, you know. It's not like everyone makes the same shape, which is the best thing about it. I like that, so. So, he's had a bit of fun with my ballistics gel now. I'm going to find out if he's got anything else he wants to show me. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and uh, I will see you next time.